Burr indeed. Lovely crisp two degree morning. Take that, Canada. <laughs> off to the west coast of the South Island of New Zealand today and we're gonna take you guys along it's gonna be lots of fun we're going away for four days and our first trip today is from Christchurch to Hokitika which is about three and a half hours away and we go through the Arthur's Pass which is so beautiful it's basically the doorway to the west coast very exciting yeah. so I think there might be some snow on the hills stop off have a pie yeah have a coffee see some Kia hopefully yeah um, Arthur's Pass is definitely the place to get a pie on the be way careful with the Kia and your camera mmm very true. They were like, this thing. <laughs> they were like to attack the yeah. microphone. Yeah. And then this is what I'm wearing today. So I've just got on my little fluffy hat with the little pom pom on top. I got this in Melbourne from the store. It's called Mr. Darcy in South Melbourne. And then this little grey sweatshirt I showed in a favourites video recently. It's from Farmers. Fleece lined singlet on underneath. My grey skinny jeans and my black Ugg boots. <laughs> super, super cosy. <laughs> What we have here is a classic kiwi pie, very different to the kind of pies you probably get in North America. This is filled with beef, mints, and lovely pastry, and you have it with a bit of Wadi's tomato sauce. A kiwi classic. Alex is having a more gourmet option lamb and kumara, and a saucy roll. Kumara is a New Zealand sweet potato. just discussing how this is a perfect kiwi flat white perfect double shot strength perfect size just a very small little tulip oh. small little tulip cup that's the size of my hand We've made it to Hokitika. See the ocean from here. This little paddock. There was a horsey in there. Oh! Horsies! Alrighty, so we dumped our stuff in the little lodge where we were staying. And we're now heading to the Hokitika Gorge to do a little walk. It's a very, very short walk, very easy. But it's super pretty and a nice little short walk to fit in before we watch the sunset and go have dinner. Gosh, a pee waka waka. Wow, hello little one. Oh, you're so friendly. Ah! <laughs> that was too close. <laughs> Honestly, just absolutely magical. We've gone across the first swing bridge, took some photos by the gorge. I'll insert here. But now we're about to head across what I think is the new swing bridge. There's actually two. It's like a little mini loop track. We all created something new in 2020. Hokitika made a new bridge. Okay, there you go. There's a beautiful view of the gorge. Just absolutely stunning. 
oh, we're gonna get a whole lot of this over the next few days. So it is 20 past five and we're all ready to go out for dinner. But first we wanna go watch the sunset cause our dinner booking is at six o'clock and the sun should set quarter of an hour before then. So it's kind of perfect timing. I mean, it would be amazing if we were like sitting at the restaurant and watching it set, but that was the earliest they could do. So that's gonna be really nice. <laughs> Very glamorous for the West Coast. Yeah. Got this coat in Akaroa at a vintage store there. I can't remember the name, but it's on like the main road. Um, but it's so cool. Yeah, I can see a house we might be able to afford just over your left shoulder. <laughs> yeah, that little shack. That'll yeah. be ours. That'll be where we move into. Yeah. Do you think it's double glazed? Place. Cute. Cute. Alright, let's get some dinner, let's eh? Get dinner. Matheson Lake Walk. Unfortunately it is quite cloudy and misty today which is really beautiful but you can't see the glaciers. <laughs> Probably won't be able to see Mount Cook but it'll be a nice walk anyway. The nice thing about New Zealand walks is that even if the main attraction of the walk is unviewable because of the weather, the actual walk itself is still so beautiful. Like look at the greenery! It's definitely still worth doing the walks even if it's bad weather. That's what we're meant to be looking at right now. Mount Cook. Oh, we are looking. We are looking. But it's cloudy. <laughs> Good time for lunch then. staying for tonight in this lovely little bit of farmland hopefully if the cloud clears later we'll get a bit of Mount Cook action in the back cool. inside our little cabin so cute it's a little baby fireplace in the corner sneak fridge 
little breakfast area and a wee bathroom out the back. Isn't it adorable? So cute. All right, we've all settled in, unpacked all the snacks and the food, even turn on this adorable little electric fire. And they've got these little convenient drawers under the bed where you can put your suitcase and I'm just so thankful for my low gel suitcase. This is the reason I love it because I can just top open it and then push it away and it's completely out of the way. Look at all the space for activities. So tonight we're having a little DIY charcuterie board in our little cozy cabin. So I've just whipped this up. I've got some, what? Here's something I prepared, <laughs> Here's something I prepared earlier. I've got some lovely little fig and almond crackers. This is a, I think almond and apricot cheese, a cream cheese, it's so good. Some salami or pepperoni I should say. Um, just some like scroggins spread throughout. We had some apples, so I cut those up. This is a brie cheese that I put a little drizzle of honey on because a yum. And then some of our homemade beetroot relish. Isn't that amazing? Using beets so from my mum's garden. Yummy. It is probably one of the best things Alex ever made. I'm very, very impressed by it. <laughs> so, so our plan is just to eat this, chill here tonight, enjoy the evening, and we'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Good morning, world. Good morning, Anna. <laughs> Alex has just made me some veggie mine on toast for brekkie. And we've had a lovely little lie in here, in this cute little... What's the plan for the rest of the morning? Carriage. Well, I need to... Continue to lie in, I reckon. Yeah. I need to update you guys. Today was meant to be our big tramp. Okay, not really a tramp. Day walk. Today was meant to be our big... Um, hike day hike up to see the glaciers but it is quite moist out <laughs> and uh it's very settled so it's not very much of a view of anything so we actually made the decision last night to stay an extra night in glacier country unfortunately um, this little place is booked the night after we originally had booked till to after tonight um, so we've booked another little bit of accommodation in franz joseph because that's where the walk is so today we're just gonna blob around here for the morning and just read and you know chill and then we're gonna just go and explore the like townships this afternoon and then we've got a booking at the glacier hot pools in franz joseph later this evening which will be really nice so that's like the main thing we're doing today but we're meant to do that after our big walk today <laughs> but we just won't get a view of the glacier that's like the whole reason we came here and i just thought i'd rather book another night's accommodation stay one more day and actually have a chance of seeing them because it's looking like it might have better visibility tomorrow. We have more hope doing it tomorrow than we do going today. But anyway, I'm going to enjoy my brekkie. Mmm, so good. Literally meters into this walk and I'm already getting out my big camera and just like stop I need to take pictures it's beautiful yeah, it's about midday we're just doing a quick little walk in Fox I think on a good day you'd normally see the glacier at the end of it it's only 20 minutes but uh, it's so gorgeous it's even more lush than like the walk we did yesterday um, so we're just gonna enjoy the forest bathing for a bit I mean <laughs> but I, the beauty, honey, the beauty, I can't yeah. even. <laughs> Come on, get it, babe. You can hear them. There he is. There he is. Oh, shoot, oh, shoot, oh, shoot. <laughs>
Alrighty, so we are just about to head into the Glacier Hot Pools. We're hoping they'll let us in early, like move our booking time. It's meant to be a 5 pm booking, but it's called to 4 mm. just because we changed our, um, our schedule around doing the big walk tomorrow. So, yeah, we've kind of seen the town. It's a pretty small little um, sort of town centre, and we're ready, we're ready to soak. So, hopefully, that will work out. Um, but yeah, see you in the pool. we go center of the frame that is Auraki double mountain we did this morning it's mid-morning on day four fill you in on what we did earlier in a second but we've just arrived in Franz Joseph about to go for a big walk um, and we popped into our accommodation just to like leave our bags at reception so they went in our car with our valuables and they're letting us into our room really early so this is a bit unexpected so we're just gonna take you guys on a quick tour before we go on our walk which is exciting so we're here at the rainforest retreat in Franz Joseph and they gave us a room upgrade as well, so this is just pretty cool inside. And this is our view from outside. Beautiful rainforest. That's lovely. Ooh, I just love the view of the native bush just outside. It's just gorgeous. So we're just going to quickly shove our gear and we'll unpack properly later. Um, and then we're going to go on our big walk up the glacier. It's a much nicer day today. A few scattered clouds, but it's like mostly sunny. So that should take most of the day to be honest. And then we can come back here and just like use the facilities. I think there's a sauna and a spa here, which is lovely. And 
have some dinner. We're gonna get a wriggle on that. So we really do, because otherwise we're gonna miss it. Yeah, pretty much. See you at the top. I no, think. we might do a, might have a Alex vlog takeover. Xana's gonna be occupied. I'm gonna be occupied just trying to get myself Breathe. up that hill. <laughs> so Alex will take over the vlog from here, and then we'll show you the top. Fresh-faced wifey. Let's go. Roberts Point Track. Five hours return. Not too many sand flies today, it's a bit of a relief, eh? So Alright, adventure girl, you got this. <laughs> oh, hey. It's going. Hey. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> so brave. There's a long way down. That cloud, oh, what a pain. Hopefully we'll get some blue skies up there, eh, baby? Man, that's wobbly, eh? Oh, it's not creeping me out. Hannah hasn't seen it yet. This one looks very, very wobbly. Oh, hey, Ann. What? Hey. <laughs> Sorry, darling. What? <laughs> Sorry. Why? This is the good one. It's alright. I trust they've been well um, engineered. Do you? Yes. Kiwi Ingenuity, number eight wire. Don't die because you're vlogging, Alex. That would be foolish. <laughs> this is brilliant. Look at that. Look at that. That's cool. Such a skinny little bridge. It is. I was getting seasick waiting on it for you at the bend. Jump back to the That's concrete so bit. <laughs> Look at you, Miss Courageous. Day 12, Captain's Log. <laughs> what? Track is getting steeper. I feel like Poe from Kung Fu Panda. Like, stairs, my nemesis. Like In a past life, Anna wanted to be a volcanologist. Oh, so good. But she's terrified of volcanoes, so it was a bit of a love hate relationship. Yeah, I think they're fascinating. Yeah. They're so connected to the land here, so spiritual, isn't it? What sort of rock is this, Anna? Sedimentary rock. Yeah. Alright, where have Anna's poles gone, you might ask? Didn't want to carry them up this bit, so here they are. All right, let's, uh, let's go. Love, 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 love. All the moss on these trees, it's everywhere. And the lichen, it's just so green. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Sana? So the age-old difficulty with tramping is that you have to let the slowest person get the pa set the pace. Otherwise, you race ahead, and then you wait for them. And while you wait, you rest. And just as they catch up and you're fully rested, you're like, right, let's go, and take off again. Then I can do. Which they are snack point. It's not so bad. I think this next bit's going tougher. We haven't had to break as many times as I thought. Mm -hmm. I've only had two water breaks this whole time. Yep. I'm very proud of myself. And no snack breaks. So far, a lot more successful than New Year's Eve, <laughs> Lewis Tops <laughs> track. No tears yet. No tears. All right, check in, in a bit. Alex, out. <laughs> right. Who is this adventurous lady? Where did she come from? 
This is really interesting. We've just gotten to this really like rocky exposed section. Had a sign saying that you could tell how recently the glacier had been here by how developed the forest was. And so the fact that this is all that bare rock and really small saplings means it was only like a hundred years ago there was glacier here. Whereas before, back that way, where it was quite dense bush, it was maybe a thousand years since the glacier had been there. It's pretty amazing. vlog day 15 we've made it to the top snacks are in order sun's Hello. out yeah Sandwich. what are we having on pita, pita bread with fillings including our beetroot relish homemade beetroot relish it's pretty good the sun's good there's a little bit of cloud it was actually clearer over the glacier when we first got up in about 10 minutes it's like really started to come in so there's the glacier. It is inspiring, but it is kind of a shame, like how small it is. In 10 years, it's receded, receded about a kilometer. All right, hey guys, we're nearly done. It's 5.20, so it's been six hours for a five hour walk, but I think we'll be done in about half an hour at the latest. We're on the second to last bridge. It's pretty like low to the ground now. Done most of the elevation, but look, up there, the sun is all coming out on the mountains just as we get down. <laughs> but we would have been foolish to stay up there any longer because we wanted to be down before sunset, which is in about half an hour. It is very beautiful. I just, Think about how gorgeous it would have been in the Victorian times when the glacier came down this far. Hello darling. You made it? Made it. Like six and a half hours. Half an hour for lunch. But we took an extra hour because I'm so slow. But I didn't die. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh, my hair looks absolutely awful. It looks lovely. Looks like you've had a nice holiday. <laughs> I need to give it a wash this morning. So, our little breakfast basket arrived. I'm just going to show you what is in it. This reminds me a lot of um, hotel quarantine. So we have some cereals and muesli and some fruity yogurt. Um, and we've got some fruit here. There's little like mini muffins inside here. And a beautiful baguette as well as some butter and mini jams. I love Bon Maman jams, so excited about that. Little bottles of juice, which I love these little bottles. I hope we can keep those. And a little bit of milk as well for a coffee. Doesn't quite look like Anna's famous latte art, <laughs> but it'll do. Enjoy. All right, so we are just checking out from our lovely little accommodation. Rainforest retreat. So gorgeous here, and I just love that you walk outside yeah. and it's like, oh. I'm gonna miss the smell. Yeah, it smells so fresh and clean and just like there's extra oxygen in the air. It's Probably so is. Nice. Yeah. yeah. Um, but we are just heading back to Christchurch today. It's gonna be like a six hour drive and we just want to. We're wrapping up now. Yeah, we're wrapping it up. We'll wrapping wrap the up energy. the video. Hope you guys enjoyed seeing some of the West Coast with us. We just love sharing it with you and until my next video, I hope you guys have a wonderful few days and we'll talk soon. Bye! <laughs>